The village of Grafham in West Sussex reads the Christmas story. The visit of the angel Gabriel. Now on the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth. To a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, and the virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said unto her, Rejoice, highly favoured one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the maidservant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus, that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinus was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, every one to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. Because there was no room for them in the inn. The angels and the shepherds. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, 
For behold, I bring good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem, and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marvelled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, as it was told them. The visit of the wise men. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, Regina, you read the first. But, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah. Do you read the second line? Which is, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. Are, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. Among the rulers of Judah. Okay. And two, you see the last two lines. Uh, for out, for out, for out of uh, you shall come a ruler. Who will shepherd my people Isle? Israel. Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, Go and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me, that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with a cedary great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. And when they had, they opened their treasures and presented gifts to him of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then, being divinely warned in the dream they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another way. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, 
the obedience of Joseph and of Mary and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. May God's blessing be upon you this Christmas time and always. Amen.